What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Ambition. Just wanted to do a part two to the first episode. I did kind of give a lot in such a little bit of time, so I wanted to just kind of piggyback off of what was said previously. Um, and again, all of these things are easier said than done. I just want to come to you guys from a place of somebody that's doing it, somebody that wrote these goals down. I don't always like to use the word manifest and i believe that god is the one who provides my blessings for me i don't believe that because i spoke it into existence that it just all happened for me i don't necessarily believe it works like that i believe god helps those who help themselves a good friend of mine told me that actually and it really stuck with me i just really wanted to piggyback off of overcoming fear of rejection right so i've experienced a lot of rejection in my life you know i recognize that i'm not everybody's type i'm not everyone's cup of tea there's things about me that aren't flattering to everybody and that's okay i've accepted that i've accepted to be a hard-working woman that doesn't expect help from anybody and one thing i'm learning right now as a matter of fact is asking for help and not being too prideful to ask for it when I need it. I think that's only fair. And it's only fair to those that love me. And I'm going to speak to you as well, that it's only fair to people that love and care about you, that want to help you, that you're vulnerable in that sense. I think pride is one of the most destructive things out there. And so when we're living pride-based to protect our ego to protect our status i think that is very toxic so here we go again on another tangent that's gonna probably be for another episode but what i want to say is that when you're trying to overcome fear of rejection you just have to realize that there's how many billion people in the world not everyone's gonna say yes not everyone's gonna be a yes and you don't have to convince anybody to say yes it's just it is what it is. You got to take things for face value sometimes. When you want to get to where you're going and where you're at, I think it's so important to not make acceptance such a priority. How do you feel about yourself? What do you think of you? Are you a solid person? Are you in alignment with your life, your decisions, your goals, things like that? I think once you have that foundation down, it really doesn't matter who says no to you. Are you okay with you? I think um, having building blocks on self-acceptance before wanting to receive acceptance from others is extremely crucial. Something I'm still learning to this day. So I just wanted to encourage you today to overcome that fear. Keep taking those baby steps in overcoming what makes you fearful of people and social settings and things like that. So hope this helps you and uh, more episodes to come. Love you guys.